Hi everyone, today we'll be painting this winter tree path. Um, in the original picture, there are these um, xmas -y garland things, so I am taking those out, but everything else will be keeping it. Okay, so you're gonna need a dark blue or a regular blue and a white. We can make a light blue and a dark blue. We'll need brown if you want to make some highlights in the trees, yellow, black, white. You're going to need a big brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. Um, these are flat types of brushes. If you have the big round ones, that's fine, uh, but the flat brush will be uh, better for this painting. Make sure you have um, plastic tablecloths paper towel, and water handy. Okay, let's start with the dark blue. If your brush is dry, dip it in water and wipe it in the paper towel. And we're gonna start from the top in left to right strokes with the dark blue. Go down a couple of inches. Let's say two, three inches. Okay, that's about three, three and a half. Make sure you cover your canvas. Okay. Now we're gonna make a little bit of light blue. So mix your dark blue and the white. Now this is called an X stroke. So you go like this in an X motion under the dark blue. And it adds texture to your sky. If it's turning too dark, dip it in the white and keep blending. Blend it until, until you can't see a difference between the top and the middle, okay? Okay, now you want the middle to be even lighter, so add some white and the X stroke in the middle. my brush because there's too much blue on the brush and add some more white okay let's keep going over here okay so it's about the same okay now we're going to make our snowy mountain. So I would wash my brush. It's okay if there's a little bit of blue on the brush. Dip it only in white. And we're going to make a hill over here and a hill over here. And then straight in the middle. This you don't want to blend. Okay, now you see there's a little bit of light blue, so that's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna make our path. So our path goes a little bit like that. I don't know if you can see it. it goes like this, and then it goes like that. a little bit in my light blue really really light and then we're gonna fill in our hills with the white and the light blue so there's a 
little bit of light blue in our house. Okay, and do the same thing to the other side. Make it a little curvy. Let's make another light blue. Fill it in. Here's where we pick up our medium brush. Okay, so now we're gonna use this new blue. Let's see, this brush is a little dirty. Okay, so use your new blue. Start at the middle. And we're making straight lines Going all the way down, straight blue lines. It's okay if it goes on top of the hill a little bit. If it leaves in space, we're gonna do white in between. Okay, all the way down. A lot of blue in this picture. to wash the brush, dip it in white, and make some more streaks. Light, blue, white. Streaky. Let's use our tiny brush and add some more straight white lines. Okay, so it's supposed to look. like wet, like shiny and wet. And add some more dark blue. And then we're gonna add this purpley blue. Okay, dip it with a little tiny brush, add some purple in there. Okay, I made a mistake over here. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna do the trees. This is the hard part. Okay, let's start with this big one right here. So it starts at the end and keep it to the right because we have some more stuff to do over here. So in the front, things are bigger and taller. And then as they go back, they're smaller and shorter. So take your tiny brush, wash it, dip it in the black. Okay, now it's not perfectly straight. Start at the bottom. Make it a little windy. You could erase black. 
just add white to it and then add the background color. Okay, now the other side, a little windy. And this goes even higher. Okay, and then paint it in. You could paint it in with the medium brush. I got my medium brush. Okay, now when it gets to the top, you need to separate the branches. So, take your little brush and do one. your brush very lightly it'll come to a point at the end okay let's do another one make it thicker as it goes down if your background's not dry you may need to do a couple of layers wait till it dries do another layer okay here's another branch I like to make a branch where it bends. So go this way, this way, make another little branch. The tinier your brush, the better the branch. Very lightly lift it, okay? And here's another one. You don't have to do so many branches, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. I I feel like I need another one right there. Okay. Now we're gonna do another one on this side. Okay, this one's also at the bottom. And very tall. There's no rules when it comes to trees. Every tree is different. Yours will probably look different than mine, but don't stress. Okay. Fill in your trunk. So there's two kinds of trees. Um, let's do the evergreen. Okay, there are two more smaller trees in the background. Um, you can do those also, but let's let me show you how to do the evergreens. Wash your little brush. your brush. Oh, we need green paint. Sorry, I forgot. Green paint. Okay. 
Okay. Tip your tiny brush, pick a spot. Now these are further in the distance. Okay, you start with a point at the top and then go curve to the right, curve to the left, curve a little longer, curve a little longer. And you can do a little stick on the bottom. Make a little thicker. Easy peasy. Super easy. There's one. A little thicker. Just make one right here. Start at the top. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Thicker as you go down. Stick at the bottom. Make the stick brown. Beautiful. You can do one more. One, two, one, two. Make this one a little smaller. Wash your brush. Okay, here's how you do highlights. Little lines, wherever it curves. Curve, curve, brown, brown. If it's still wet, you can wait till it dries. Right, here's a brown stick at the bottom. If you have a brown tree, you could do orange highlights, or black lowlights, whatever. Okay, now we did some snow. Let me get my white. Oh, and also the lamppost. Okay, let's do the snow first. Okay, so wherever there's a flat spot, you can add some snow to it. There's white in the background, you probably won't see it so much. Okay, now add some snow to your evergreens. Once it blends in, dip it again. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the lamp post. Okay, so there's two lamp posts in the picture. One to the right is a little further away and shorter. One to the left is a little taller and bigger. Um, you can do it wherever you want. Let's do this one. Let's do this one shorter. Line. 
It will probably go over a tree, which is fine. Starts out thick at the bottom, try and go as straight as you can. A tip to making it straight, put your, lean your pinky on the canvas. Okay, and then there's like a diamond at the top. A little curvy. This part is black. And there's a little dot on top. And then the inside is yellow. And there's some yellow while we have it. There's some yellow lights around the trees. Do some dots. Yellow dot, yellow dot. Okay, let's do our second lamp. Black paint, this one's a little bigger. Curved right here. Straight up. Make your curve bigger than the last one. Okay, big diamond. Okay, over here it's filled in. Little dot at the top. Yellow in the middle. Oh, there's a little bit of snow on it, too. Oh, my brush is too wet. Okay. A little bit of snow on top. Beautiful. One more thing, there's some snow in the background and the sky can make a few dots or you could do the flicking, which is a little messier. Um, if you do want to flick it, you dip your brush in the white, put your, your finger up and the brush down, and then you can flick it. This one's not a great brush to do it. For this one, the round brush is the best. Dip it in a little bit of paint and flick. You want to be careful with this one. That's it. And that's it. Sign your name on the bottom and hope you enjoyed.